Club Express, Additional Member Data. Many clubs and associations have unique questions that are asked of members when they join or renew or when they register for events. These questions may be used to establish qualifications, certifications, or experience, and sometimes they're used to determine what products the member uses to enjoy his or her hobby. In others, it's a way for members to get to know more about each other. These additional data fields for a member can be very useful. For example, in a community theater, there might be fields for a member's height, hair color, and wardrobe sizes, information that helps directors and costumers get ready for a show. Questions can be configured to appear during the member sign-up process, and if so, they will appear on the third page of the sign-up wizard. Questions can be optional or be required. They can also be hidden from the member but visible to admins, or visible to the member but only editable by admins. Let's look at this member's profile. The member clicks on the profile link and then selects additional member data. We can see two questions that are relevant to this ballooning club. We'll add a few more later. The additional data fields can be represented in many formats. These include text, dates, selection lists, checkboxes, radio buttons, and we'll explore them all. To configure the questions, I'll log in as an administrator. Let's go to the bottom of the Control Panel's People tab and select Additional Member Data by clicking the link or the Edit icon. Here we see a grid with the questions that have already been defined. There are columns for the question's name, answer type, who can see the answer, who can edit the answer, and whether the question appears on the membership application. To add a new question, click the Add Question button. First, specify a name or a title for the question. You'll use this to identify the question in the admin list and in reports, but it's not shown to the user. We'll skip over the answer type for a moment and get back to it shortly. The question text field is the heading that displays to the user just above the answer area for this question. It's the actual question being asked or statement being made in the case of a heading. This field uses a limited version of our advanced content editor with full control over fonts, colors, lists, and indenting, and the ability to insert a photo or image. The Question Notes option allows you to specify an additional explanation that's displayed in smaller text under the question. This explanation helps users understand what information you're seeking and the format for the answer. Member Types allows you to control whether the question appears for all member types. If you select Applies to All, the Member Types icon will not appear on the main grid screen, and the system will automatically show the question for all member types, even new member types as they're created. If you select Applies to Select Types Only, the Member Types icon is displayed in the grid and you can customize which types will see this question. Note that if you add a new member question, it will not appear unless you select the member types manually. The Visible field controls who can see this question. The choices are Public, where the question is shown on the Public Bio page, Member, where it's shown on a members only bio page and to members on the additional member data edit page, or admin only, where the question is visible only to the admins. The editable by option controls who can edit the question, the member him or herself, or admins only. This option does not appear if the visible option is set to admins only. The Membership App option controls whether the question also appears on membership applications and whether it should be optional or required. As you can see, there are many answer types available, and they're applicable when creating questions for surveys, events, polls, and other areas within Club Express. For examples and options of each of the answer types, please watch the Club Express Answer Types video. Most of the answer types can be flagged as required. This is done either by setting a required option in the answer settings, or in some cases by specifying a minimum number of selections for that answer, for example, in a set of checkboxes. During data entry, a red dot appears to signify that the answer is required. For this question, I'll select the short text answer type, choose not to define a default answer, and specify a maximum length. After saving the question, it appears in the grid. In the Maintain column, you can edit existing questions or delete a question and all of its answers. 
If a question was specified with the applies to selected types only, you select which member type should see the question. Note that this option does not appear if the question applies to all member types. Click the member types icon to configure which members will see this question. You'll see a screen that lists all of your member types. For a newly defined question, all member types are checked by default. Uncheck the member types that should not see this question. Click the Save button to save your changes, or cancel to close the dialog without saving. The Answers icon displays a report showing member answers for this question. Two reports are available, one sorted by member last name and the other sorted by answer. The Club Express Report Manager displays these reports, and they're available in PDF, HTML, Word, or Excel formats. The Display Sequence button lets you control the order of the questions on the new member sign-up wizard and the directory. The Export Answers button generates an export file in CSV format with detailed member information and their answers to all questions. This file is suitable for loading into a spreadsheet like Excel for further analysis. Note that this is the most comprehensive and complete export built into the system for member data. If you want the additional member data questions to appear when members sign up or renew, there's one more step. In the People tab of the Control Panel, scroll down to the Membership Setup Wizard and click the link or the Edit icon. Then, in the Additional Member Data row, select the appropriate checkboxes for when you want the questions to display, then save your settings. So now you know the many ways you can configure additional member data and have seen the various answer formats used by questions in this and several other Club Express functions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.